please welcome to the platform here, Josh Kimbrell. Well, good morning, and it's my honor to introduce to you the 47th governor of the great state of Texas. If you'll remember, a couple of election cycles ago, there was a man running for president, and a reporter asked him, what is your favorite book of the New Testament? And he said, job. <laughs> now, I'd imagine most of the folks in this audience know that the, the name of the book is neither job, nor is it in the New Testament. And I'm glad to tell you that the man I'm about to introduce to you, my friend Rick Perry, he does know that it's named Job and it's in the Old Testament. And that's because there are a lot of people during election cycles who have a campaign conversion to Christ. Because there's still a lot of us around. You want the people who know the names of the books whenever it's not an election season. And you want people who when they pray to Christ know the person to whom they are praying. And I've, I've prayed with Rick Perry many times publicly and privately. And he is a man who loves Jesus Christ and knows him to be the one true God. Amen. And at a time the Supreme Court decided that not only did it know better the definition of marriage than 50 million Americans in 35 states, including 78% of the people of this state, that court said it knew better how to define marriage than God Almighty. And we're here to say the Supreme Court is not the Supreme Maker. And you need people who know that as serving as Commander in Chief of states and in the country. You need people who fear the Lord in the Senate and in the State House. Because any attempt to secularize and socialize a society begins with two things. You take away the scripture and you take away their right to keep and bear arms. You do those things. And you turn people into sheeple. And we have a message in South Carolina that Rick Perry shared in Texas. And that is, if you want our religious liberty, come and take it. And that's exactly what my friend, the 47th governor of Texas, did his entire tenure. It is my honor to introduce a man who loves the Lord a man who knows our Savior, and a man who served our country with distinction, the Honorable Rick Perry, the 47th Governor of Texas. 